Hey everybody, I'm Ian from Subpixel. We do a lot of streams. We do streams multiple times a week and we've been doing that for several years now. We've gone through a lot of change. We've changed what our stream overlay looks like. We've changed where we're streaming to. We've changed what games we're streaming and how we stream them. But there's a couple things that we've used through all those years that have made things easier and made our streams look better. And today I wanna to talk to you about my favorite tool, UpDeck. Now, UpDeck is a lot like the Elgato Stream Deck. If you're not familiar with the Elgato Stream Deck, it's basically a physical hotkey device that is ultra programmable. Each key has its own screen and you can set up different images and commands for pressing the buttons. It, it makes your stream more dynamic and fun. But there's a big problem with it. It costs $150, which I don't know about you, but that is just way too much to spend on what is essentially a streaming accessory. I like the idea of the Stream Deck, but I didn't want to pay that much money. And I tried a couple different options. I tried setting up hotkeys in OBS, but they never really worked and they never really could do multiple commands. So then I tried using Auto Hotkey to set up multiple command macros. And I even bought a USB keypad with relegible keys so you can put little labels on them, but I never could quite get that working reliably. But then I found UpDeck. UpDeck is basically a virtual stream deck that you can run on your phone, on your tablet, or even on a browser. And it has basically the same functionality as Stream Deck. You have a grid of buttons, each button you can put a custom image on, and have multiple commands be fired when you press that button. So for example, you can have a single button switch to your live scene, unmute your microphone, and unmute your desktop audio or you can have toggle buttons. So with a single button press, you can mute your microphone. It will show as muted in UpDeck and then click it again to unmute it. You can also animate OBS items by changing scale, opacity, position, all sorts of transform actions with a single button press. You can even run system commands like opening a program or opening a specific website with a single button press. And in addition to that grid of buttons, you also have all sorts of generic commands like start stream, start recording, or audio sliders for each of your audio inputs and outputs. Now this video isn't a tutorial. I'm not gonna show you how to get UpDeck set up because quite frankly, they have a fantastic guide on their website. It shows you how to get it installed, working with OBS, and then how to use the different applications on whatever mobile device you wanna use. They also show you how to use their proprietary but very simple to use programming language to set up commands so that you can do all sorts of things with any of the buttons. I've been using UpDeck for almost two years now and I love it. Every single time I stream, I use UpDeck. There's so many things to love about it, but what makes it great for me is that I can do complicated things in OBS and put it all beneath a single button press. So no matter how complicated we wanna get, like for example with our extra life stream where we had 20 plus scenes set up, all I had to do was just set up those as buttons in UpDeck and it was a single button press to switch between them. It makes your streams look better, but also easier to run. I love using UpDeck so much that I actually bought an Amazon 10 inch Fire HD tablet on sale for hundred bucks just to use as my dedicated UpDeck device. Now, I know what you're saying. I complained earlier about $150 for the Stream Deck, but I didn't have to spend $100 on that tablet. I could have run it on any of my devices. Plus with the tablet, I now have a wireless OBS control mechanism that I can take anywhere. I can stream from the couch. I can stream from the kitchen. I can stream from outside and still be able to control OBS using my tablet. Plus it's a tablet. I can use it for vacations. I can use it for video chats. I can use it to watch videos in bed. I can do whatever I want with the tablet. Whereas with Stream Deck, you're kind of limited. UpDeck is one of those streaming tools that once I found it, it felt like a revelation. It felt like it upped my streaming game and what I could do while streaming. And quite frankly, I don't stream without it now. And I don't think I could stream without it. And the fact that I got all of that for the low, low cost of zero dollars is an incredible deal. I highly recommend. Hi, thanks for watching. You should like, you should comment, you should subscribe. Thanks.